SQL Server. Well, there are multiple ways to trace deadlocks in SQL Server. I'm going to tell you a couple or maybe three. Uh, first, uh, first way that you can trace the deadlocks is uh, uh, turning on the uh, trace flags. There are a couple trace flags related to deadlocks. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and the second way that you could do is uh, uh, turn on um, run the trace on SQL Server uh, Profiler. So you can watch all the activity uh, related to deadlocks um, in SQL Server Profiler. You can save that uh, um, information as well and look, come back and look at it again. So I'll show you that, that as well. So let's get to the uh, first option that uh, these are the trace flags 1204 and 1222. By default, these trace flags are not on SQL Server, so you have to turn them on. Uh, the <clears throat> T-SQL command that mm, you need to run in order to turn these uh, trace flags on is dbcc trace on 1204 minus 1 and uh, both needs to be on if you wanted to look at the XML data um, uh, uh, around the uh, deadlock then you need to turn on 1222 um, in, in the trace flags so uh, let's say that you're uh, looking at the deadlock information for a particular time you don't want them to run all the time so what you can do is uh, once you get the required information you can go ahead and run dbcc trace off command using the same parameters right here uh, to turn off these uh, flags um, 1204 will give you uh, information about the objects keys and all underneath the victims of 1204 uh, of uh, deadlock but 1222 will also give you XML format of all those deadlocks later on you can look at actually the visual diagram of uh, deadlocks that where it started how it uh, got there and how it ended if it ended so this is the first way second way quickly is go to tools SQL Server profiler connect to the SQL Server where you want it to uh, trace the deadlocks go to events and go to show all events here is the tab called locks expand that locks and you can see up here uh, lock deadlock you can click on that you can click on deadlock chain all uh, uh, deadlock related events that if you wanted to capture you can now however this beside deadlock graph all other will show you just uh, 1204 that uh, in the first uh, section we we talked about but if you wanted to do like 1222 as well uh, using profiler you need to click on deadlock graph and if you see that as soon as I click deadlock graph uh, the event extraction setting ha appeared here if you click on that and you wanted to save that XML information separately and wanted to maybe send it to somebody or maybe look at it later you can click on save and then get provide a path and you can uh, save that information um, separately so these are a um, uh, couple ways that you can trace the log uh, one thing I do wanted to mention up here uh, that once you turn on these traces trace flags um, it they will remain on until SQL Server uh, uh, you know is running um, and uh, you haven't turned them off manually but if SQL Server uh, services restart they will go in disable mode you have to turn them turn them on again so what is the resolution if you wanted to uh, keep these traces on all the time uh, the resolution would be that you put these trace flags on in a startup parameter of SQL Server so that's uh, uh, quickly um, you know the overview of tracing the deadlock in SQL Server once you turn on these two flags you can go in SQL Server error log and click on SQL Server and you all the information about the deadlock the victim of deadlocks and all the good information you can see it right here so I hope this video helps these are this is all about uh, tracing the deadlocks a few options